Hey there, welcome to Cooking with Crunk. Today we're making Thanksgiving turkey. So what you're gonna do is grab one stick of butter, some garlic, a few turns of salt, a dash of pepper, and some rosemary. I'm also gonna need a little bit of your thyme. And you're gonna mix that all together real well with a spoon or spatula. Yeah, just like that. Next, it's time for the turkey. Wipe it down with a paper towel first to get rid of any unwanted shenanigans. Then you're going to take one teaspoon of salt and trickle it in the cavity of the turkey. Then you're going to do the same thing with a half teaspoon of pepper. Now what I want you to do next is take that herb butter we made earlier and rub it all up inside that turkey. Give it a nice little massage. No happy endings yet, stay focused, we're on a mission here. Then you're going to take four lemon wedges and shove them way down in there. Next we're going to do the same thing with three onion wedges, followed by three apple wedges. Then you're going to take a couple of sprigs of rosemary, thyme, and sage and shove those in there as well. Next tie the legs together with some twine. This is important because we want to make sure we don't lose any flavor. Now we're going to melt the last of our herb butter and use a basting brush to paint the rest of our turkey with deliciousness. Finally we're going to pop this bad boy in the oven at 325 degrees until the internal temperature reaches 165. You of course got to use a baking thermometer for that. Now if you did everything right, this will be the perfect thing to help you get your groove back. Till next time guys, this has been Cooking with Crook. See you later.